Okay, this is part two of our video series on using Motion Builder to blend multiple Mixamo clips together for use in Unreal Engine virtual production. So in the previous video, we already started out with characterizing our model in Motion Builder. Now we need to get some more animations to work with this character so that we can have a series of events happen. So let's go back over to Mixamo. And here again is that same character is selected. Uh, for the process that we're doing here, we're not going to worry about characterizing the different animation files. So it is important that we keep the same exact character here in Mixamo as we select animations. So I have the same character selected and now I'll go over to animations and I'll look for different things. I think what I'm going to do with this character is have this robot walk a little bit, fall down, gets himself up, and walks again a little bit and then takes a phone call. So first thing to do is to search for walk. And I will look through here and we just want to find a simple walk cycle here. And this is walking backwards, walking with briefcase, I just want a simple walk. Let's try the word walking. Okay, here we go. So here's a nice little walk cycle. So to download this, first I click on it, and then we see our character walking, and then click download. When we choose download, we want to make sure we're getting an FBX. Our frame rate is going to be the same for all of our clips. So I'm going to stick with 30 frames a second for this. And we do not need the skin. So rather than with skin, we can choose without. And then click download. Now, I've already downloaded this one, but this would be what we press, and then we uh, name this file uh, appropriately. I've been naming them, uh, in this case, because I know that I have this applied with the bot, I actually would name the file bot walking. And so in my story, the bot falls down, so maybe you can type the word fall, and I think there is, there's a falling flat impact. There, ah, there's a really dramatic fall flat. Okay, so let's go ahead with that one and download again without skin. And I would save this as bot fall and so on. So um, again, it's important to make sure that you have animations that transition, right? So after the robot has fallen, I'm going to want the robot to get up. So I'll type in get up and look for, here we go, getting up. And this one seems to be really good in that it kind of begins in that same pose as the uh, end of the fall. So there we go, We've gotten up, and then we're going to want the robot to start walking again. So start walking. And there it is, start walking. So that, you know, this is starting from a standing position and then taking a step forward and beginning to walk. Now I'm going to have them walk for a little while. We already have a walking clip. So the last bit was to talk on the phone. So I'll go ahead and type in phone. And there we go. Here's you know walking, talking on the phone for a little while. Here's talking on a cell. This one's useful because it looks like it begins with walking and then getting the call. So we're going to go ahead with that. And so without skin, download, etc. All right, so those are the files that I'm going to download. And in the next video, well, actually, let's just continue right from here. Let's put these to use. We'll start with going back to Motion Builder. And we're going to use these and edit them together using something called the story mode. So over here, we're going to look for story. So navigator, dope sheet, F curve, story. We'll go to story mode, right click, and we're going to insert a character animation track. This will allow us to apply the different animations to this character. Of course, we want to tell this character animation track that it's working on our Ybot character. So I'll select Ybot. And now any animation that we put in here, and ideally it's matched to the same skeleton uh, that we put in here, will now apply to that character. So I can right click in an empty spot of the track, choose Insert Animation File, and I can look for Bot Walking. Here we are bot walking and say open. All right, so you can see we're in a pose and this pose is the beginning of the clip because right now our time setting has us at the uh, space in the timeline that's before the start of this clip. So I can drag this on the timeline to snap that right there to 
zero, zero. You'll see some numbers here on the left is the start and on the right is the end. And now they're all matched zero, zero, 42, 42, but you'll see they're a little bit different if I slide away from here. What's happening is that the uh, top numbers are the frame values that this begins and ends on on the timeline as a whole. So it starts at frame 43, ends at frame 85. On the bottom, this shows us the frame numbers of the clip itself. So the clip starts on its own internal frame zero and it ends on its own internal frame 42. So let's snap this here and I can scroll back and if I hit play, it takes a few steps and then it comes to a stop. So one of the really cool things we can do here is simply grab the right edge of this clip and drag it off to the right and you see it's automatically adding additional copies of the same clip. And not only that, but it's offsetting these clips based on the movement inside the animation. So now if I hit play, he walks forward and he continually walks forward rather than popping back to the beginning. All right, so that's the initial basics. That's one clip. We're going to add a few more clips to this. Let's say that right about here, right here, we want them to fall. And so I will go ahead and put my shuttle here out beyond the end of this and right click and insert an animation file. And we'll say bot fall flat and open that and just snap this to the beginning here and see how that works. And okay, so we have our first little issue in that this bot like falls and the thing is that this clip is not a copy of this. We brought it in clean so it starts out at the center of our world. So we want to move this to match where the robot is at the end of all of these walks. So what we're going to do is use a tool called match, it's right over here, match, that will move this clip to the position of this clip. And for that we want to make sure we line up an appropriate body part, right? So in this case the right foot is down on this robot. So we're going to line up the right foot of this fall with the right foot of the uh, animation. In fact though, if we take a close look at this fall, the fall actually has the left foot down. So we're going to want to line up in a moment to this. That's the left foot. So we want to line this up physically with a left foot step. You can see we have kind of a walk about to happen here. And then there's this fall off the left foot. So let's edit the clip right here and let's find our robot. There we are. So here the right foot is coming down. What I can do is back up my timeline until the point where we're looking very similar to the beginning of the bot fall. So the left foot is down instead. So that's the point we want to blend these. So now I can just take the right edge of this and drag that back. So now this is where this clip will end. And if we look at the beginning of this one, you know, the left foot's going there and it's flailing. All right, so let's bring this, connect them together. All right, and now we want to move this so that the left foot at the beginning of this clip matches the left foot at the end of this one. So we'll click match. And the match object is going to be what part of the body that we want to match. In this case, it's going to be the left foot. And everything else will keep the same. So we're going to match it to the previous clip at the start of the selected clip. And we're going to match translation rotation with gravity in mind. Say OK. And so now you see that our fall has moved from the center of the world all the way out to here. And so now we have this sudden transition. A little bit of craziness here. All right, so let's make sure instead, instead of this leap into the fall, let's edit this foot, this falling to something more like this moment right here. So I'm just going to click and drag the beginning of that, snap this together. Of course, again, we don't need to match. So click match, 
and the left foot and okay and so now we have this sudden jump the left foot matches but then there's a sudden animation so this is where a really useful tool comes in let's zoom in on this moment so click on the magnifying glass drag to the right move over here what we're doing is zooming in on the timeline so click and drag there we are and what we want to do is soften the blend between these so what I'm going to do is click on the bottom triangle of the bot fall and drag it to the left and now we have this crossfade between the two clips so this is now much smoother still a little bit of a pop so let's take the bottom right triangle from the walk and drag that into the fall and so now you can envision this as a bit of a crossfade this green line here is increasing influence of the fall this is decreasing influence of the walk so right here it's just walk and now we begin to transition and we completely fall All right, so there we go. We've got our fall. Let's just add uh, one more clip for this video. We'll just click and drag to the left to zoom out a little bit and right click insert animation file. This robot wants to get up, so bot getting up. Open, drag this here. Of course, this is not going to be in the right spot. Uh, since the robot's laying completely flat right here, let's just uh, match based on the hips so I've got getting up selected click on match and choose hips there we are okay and now there we go nice smooth getting up these two clips are actually designed to match to one another and our robot gets up and we're all set now one final step here before we leave is to make sure we have the begin and the end of the clip of the entire timeline matched to the length of all of these clips we have together here. If I zoom out, you can see we have a bunch of clips here, but the begin and the end of our full timeline is a much smaller area. So to match these up, we just right click on the timeline and choose frame start end, and this will automatically set the start and the end of our timeline to match all of these animations. So I'll go back to the beginning and hit play we'll see our robot walking down the street and then he falls He's embarrassed about it he gets up and we're all set okay so let's get the animation over to unreal engine in our next video till then have fun